got very little Indian blood in me myself, except in my heart. I got 100% for you tonight. It's good to be with you. Thank you. Gather around me, people. There's a story I would tell about a brave young Indian that we should remember well. From the tribe of the Pima Indian, a proud and peaceful band who farmed the Phoenix Valley in Arizona land. Down their ditches for a thousand years, the waters grew Ira's people's crops till a white man stole the water rights and the sparkling water stopped. Now Ira's folks were hungry and their land grew crops of weeds. But when war came, Ira volunteered and forgot the white man's greed. Call him drunken Ira Hayes, he won't answer anymore. Not the whiskey drinking Indian nor the Marine that went to war. There they battled up Iwo Jima's hill, 250 men, but only 27 lived to fight back down again. And when that fight was over, and when old glory raised, among the men to hold it high was the Indian, Ira Hayes. Call him drunken Ira Hayes, he won't answer anymore. Not the whiskey drinking Indian, nor the Marine that went to war. Ira Hayes returned the hero, celebrated through the land. He was wined and speeched and honored. Everybody shook his hand, but he was just a Pima Indian. No water, no crops, no chance. At home, nobody cared what Ira had done. And when did the Indians dance? And then Ira started drinking hard. Jail was off in his home. There they'd let him raise a flag and lower it like you'd throw a dog a bone. He died drunk early one morning, alone in a land he fought to save. Two inches of water in a lonely ditch was a grave for Ira Hayes. Call him drunken Ira Hayes, he won't answer anymore. Not the whiskey drinking Indian, nor the Marine that went to war. Yeah, call him drunken Ira Hayes, but his land is just as dry, and his ghost is lying thirsty in the ditch where Ira died. Mm -hmm. 